Welcome to Wild Band Room. Right now, we are in stakeout for the elusive species we call the Wild Brad. <laughs> this is the vehicle in which we will be watching. We are in a stakeout finding this elusive species. And here, this is us watching as the Wild Brad arrives. He seems to be suspicious. Does he really? Get out, sir. Now you are seeing rare footage of the wild brat exiting his mode of transportation. We call it the Miata. Here we get exclusive footage watching as he has made his migratory daily migration from the middle school. He is going back to lead the herd. As you see, he has his keys to enter back into the natural habitat we call the band room. Now, this is us. We to see the migratory ways of the wild brat. As you see, this is the mode of transportation chosen by the wild brat. This is what he uses to build his daily migrations from middle school and back to the natural habitat. This is rare footage of the wild brat taking his instruments of torture to the car. We watch as he takes it away. He is giving it to others to repair for him. Now, as we walk through the school, which is the domain of the Brad Rogers, we see him interacting with what we call a staff member. This is not one of Brad's species, but he often interacts with them. Here you are now seeing rare footage of the wild Brad interacting with one of his own species we call the music teacher. Here we are with Mrs. Wright who is, has an eyewitness account of the creature. Yes, he has been spotted around here. I've seen him many times. I've even heard him communicate. Yes, it was right here at this spot. I've heard they communicate with Knox. See? We have a rare sighting. We're watching it migrate to the front of the building. He is probably foraging. We really can't tell. Watch as he walks. We can see the wild bread looking and checking his surroundings. He's barely been noticed. And in a flash, it's gone. Does he miss Glover? Here we have another eyewitness. Please tell us about your interaction with the creature. I saw this creature go behind me in a flash. And, and he went behind the bushes. I saw it. I saw him. I saw the creature. And here we have our undercover witness who has been pretending to be a member of his herd for weeks. He's rather scary. I've sat in the front row for weeks studying his actions. The brat is nowhere to be seen as we enter the natural habitat. This is what we call the pantry, where the wild brat resides. This is where he watches over his herd. See the stands? They're probably some form of torture. And this is the personal area of the wild brat, where he hides from the herd when they get too rowdy. Our cameraman is risking his life by entering his den. And here we go. These are more of these strange things he makes the herd do. Some members of the herd bang on these. Others blow into pipes. Some even have massive things they call a tuba. Watch. Here we all have oh, yeah. Much like Pride Rock, this is where the wild bread watches over the herd. This is his special instrument he uses to tell them what to do. Shh, we must be quiet. Here we can see a rare glimpse of one of the creature's own. This is what we call a clarinet. It is a rare species that rarely leaves its natural environment we call the band room. Species features of the clarinet include, but are not limited to, laziness, strange noises, and the occasional.
hear this little snore. Shoot, we might startle the beast. Day 36 of filming. It's been almost a week with no sighting of the creature. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. He just escaped me! The Wait, look. we just got eyewitnesses. Please retell what you saw. He just gave me the look. The look! Not the look! You know the look. It, like, it deep, it, like, gets into your soul. How'd you escape? I don't know. I ran for it. We ran. For the best. As the cameraman, that it was so, oh my gosh, it was the most crazy thing I've ever done. We were almost spotted so many times. I can't even tell you what would happen if we were spotted. We almost got um, trampled by the daily migration. It was crazy. I can't even describe to you how crazy it was. We almost, I mean, we almost went insane. It was the soul stairs and, oh, it was just, we went weeks without sightings. Weeks, it was, it drove us insane. And, oh, just being the camera person. Oh.